Hello friends, I am Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our tutorial series on SketchUp. So friends, in the previous video we had seen how to use some of the tools of SketchUp. In this video, we will move forward and we will learn how to use the modifying tools of SketchUp. So first of all, I will draw a rectangle along the blue axis and I will give dimensions of 4 meter, comma, 4 meter and then enter. So I have a rectangle here. So my first tool is the push and pull tool. Using the push and pull tool, I can extrude the rectangle. So if I want to extrude the rectangle up to a height of 3 meters, I will just enter 3 meter enter. So the rectangle has been extruded up to a length of 3 meters. So this is the use of the extrude tool. Now moving forward to the next tool, it is the offset tool. Now using the offset tool, I can create offset. Let me just using the orbit option, let me rotate it. And then I'll click on the offset tool. Take an offset of say 250. I'll select the offset tool and select on one of the edge and I will take an offset of 250 mm. 2, 5, 0 enter so i have taken an offset of 250 mm now what i can do is i can extrude this i can extrude both these layers separately so this can be done let me just control that and get back i'll extrude this to a height of 100 mm 100 zero, zero like that now the next tool is the move tool using the move tool we can move the object from one place to another first i select the object which i want to move and then i click on the move tool i select an endpoint and say i want to move it along the red axis by 4 meters 4 meter you can see that the object has been successfully moved. So moving forward, the next tool is the rotate tool. If I want to, if I want to rotate the object along the blue axis, I'll select the endpoints by which I want to rotate. Then I'll give the angle. See the zero. See the zero is starting from here and it is going in the positive direction. So I want to, I want to rotate this by an angle of 90 degrees. So I'll just click. So I'll just enter 90 and then press enter. So this is rotated by an angle of 90 degrees. Similarly, if I want to rotate it along the green axis, I can do that. I'll just click on here, click on here and then I'll rotate it. This is the positive direction. So I want to rotate it by 60 degrees. I'll simply click 6, 0 and then enter. So it is rotated by an angle of 60 degrees. So I'll press control that I don't want the rotation and movement also. So moving forward to the next tool, it is the scale tool. By using the scale tool, we can increase or decrease the size of the object as per a particular scale. If we select along the diagonals, then an uniform scale can be set. For example, I want to increase the size of the object by 20%. I will click on, I will enter 1.2, enter. So the size of the object has been increased. Similarly, you can also increase along the width, breadth, height, respectively so i'll click on escape i don't want that next we want to see the use of the tape measure tool i select the tape measure tool and i want to measure this the height of this is 3600 similarly if i want to measure this i click on here and then i move it up to here it is 4800 mm another use of this tape measure tool is that it can be used for creating construction lines Similarly, if I want to create a construction line from this end, I just select the edge and then I enter suppose 2.1 meter. So it is created a construction line along 2.1 meter. So if I draw a rectangle here, if I draw a rectangle here and then using the push and pull tool, I can modify the object like this. So these are the basic uses of the modifying tools in SketchUp in further videos, we'll see some more uses of them.
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो बाय